దయచేసి ఎక్కడ వాళ్ళు అక్కడ ఆసీనులు కావాలి కుర్చీలు అందరు కూడా కూర్చోవాలి పువ్వాడ అజయ్ గారికి ధన్యవాదాలు గౌరవనీయులు పెద్దలు రాజకీయ కురువృద్ధులు భీష్మాచార్యుల వంటి వారు కేరళ రాష్ట్రాన్ని తన అద్భుతమైన పరిపాలనతో చరిత్రలో లేని విధంగా రెండవసారి కూడా సిపిఎం పార్టీని విజయ తీరాల వైపు చేర్చి భారతదేశంలోనే అత్యంత సీనియర్గా ఉన్నటువంటి గౌరవనీయులు పెద్దలు కేరళ ముఖ్యమంత్రి గారు శ్రీ విజయన్ గారిని ప్రసంగించవలసిందిగా మనందరి తరఫున నేను విజ్ఞప్తి చేస్తా ఉన్నాను dear sisters and brothers this mamoth rally is being held at a time when the basic tenets of our constitution are facing a series of threats from the people who are at the helm of efforts at the center at the outset i congratulate the chief minister of telangana for taking the initiative to have this sort of a people's movement and to involve the like minded cms and leaders of various states in this great endeavor men for the future of the people of this country on this very same day a newly built collectorate for the district of kamam and the second phase of kandivalik the universal eye screening program organized by the state government of telangana have been inaugurated this needs special mention because through them at one stroke itself the state government is improving governance as well as public services so as to better the lives of the people of telangana let me state that kerala and its people are with the state government of telangana in all their pro people initiatives i have come to understand that decentralization of governance has been a hallmark of kcr garu's administration during the tenure of his government collectorates have become state of the art integrated district of his complexes all district departments are co located in them for the convenience of people and as far as the kandivalak program goes no such mass site testing program has been conducted in the history of our country kandivalak means light for the eyes or a torch light showing the path today with this public meeting we are showing the path forward for the nation it is a matter of great pride to once again be here in telangana the land of people struggles it is the heroic struggle of the peasants of telangana in the late 1940s which placed the issue of land reforms on the agenda of the country several such people's struggles taking up diverse issues were waged as part of our glorious national movement it is subsequent to centuries long such struggles that our country won its freedom from the colonizers however today we have a peculiar situation in which a political formation that was not part of our national freedom struggle 
he is in power in the country the followers of those who tendered unconditional apologies to the colonizers and promised to serve the imperial crown are at the helm of efforts today they have been and remain antagonistic to the values of our anti colonial struggle ideas such as secularism democracy federal structure social justice and equality were championed through it and subsequently they were included 